We are now joined by Hofstra Associate Head Coach Hava Davis following his team's 3 nothing sweep of William Mary. Uh, Hava, just uh, your opening thoughts on today's match, a uh, three-set sweep of the tribe. Uh, it's nice to see a win where we kind of commanded the pace of the game throughout, and uh, it's always great to get a sweep. doesn't matter who your opponent is, um, and it's also nice to send Emily out on a, on a high note. Uh, to start, uh, you had two real strong offensive showings, but really the key to today's match was your blocking, especially in that third set. Can you just talk about your blocking in the match overall and particularly in that third set? Yeah, so, I mean, when we do scouting, we always are looking at, you know, who the opponents are trying to set and who their priorities are. And, you know, our week is always kind of taken up with figuring out who we want to try and, and neutralize. And I think our players did a good job throughout the match. We had a few misses here and there, but they did a pretty good job of knowing who they were supposed to be in front of. And, and it kind of took effect, especially in that third set uh, from 20 on. We had a couple of really nice blocks. And we'll go to the questions now. Our first question is from Kayla. Go ahead. Hi, Coach. Really, really great showing today. And congratulations on the win. As you kind of already mentioned a little bit, Coach Emily Mansour will be heading out for the next two weeks, um, and you will be kind of taking a head roll. So what are some of the things that you want to focus on with this team in the coming weeks? Uh, I think it's just continuing to improve and mature. I mean, we have – a really nice group of players. There's some great athletes there. Their, their chemistry is great together. So it's more about just continuing to nurture and develop the relationships and the system and get everybody working on the same page. Uh, my, my role is not to come in here and change anything as much as it is just to kind of keep the ball rolling in the direction that we're already moving in. Our next question from Eddie. Go ahead, Eddie. Hi, Coach. So two really big offensive players today was Anna Martinovic and Florencio Wolf Whiskey, each finishing with 13 kills. And they both, you know, really improved on the errors. They only had five combined errors. How can you can you talk about, you know, the combination of the two and, you know, what impact they can make going forward? Sure. So I think it's a really interesting and fun duo or tandem uh, of attackers. And the reason being Anna is not really known well for being a power attacker. She's very crafty. She has a lot of shots. She moves the ball around the court quite a bit. And then Floor, who is pretty new to everybody, is just an absolute hammer. She just hits the ball hard. And that's kind of a good one-two punch for us is, you know, you get one person who just hits the ball hard, high, deep, and the other one kind of makes the defense have to work. And it's a good dynamic because it keeps our opponents kind of off, you know, on their heels and off of their toes and trying to figure out what they should be defending. Uh, Kayla, go ahead. So obviously the way that the CAA has just kind of been working this season is that you guys are going to play William & Mary again tomorrow back at home. Um, what are some of the things, you know, obviously they were in it a few times in the second and third set. They had a lead by five points at one time. It was back and forth a little bit the third set. What are some of the things that you guys are going to look to adjust from your play today that they kind of really gave you a hard time with? Uh, I think we're going to try to be a little bit better with our serving and passing. That's the most important thing. And this is something we try to preach to them all the time is win the serve and pass game. You take the other team out of system by serving well, it's your advantage. You pass well and you're in system and you can set a number of hitters, it's to our advantage. And so I think that's what we're going to stress more than anything. Uh, they're a great coaching staff. It's a good team. We're, we know they're going to make adjustments. Part of our job as coaches is trying to anticipate what they're going to do and prepare for it. And, you know, we'll sit down and put our heads together and try and figure out where we think they're going and make adjustments from there. Well, how about, uh, Sarah Pierre back in the lineup today and obviously immediate dividends on the blocking end, 11 blocks again. Why is she so dangerous in that area? I think it's because she's a very disciplined and patient player. I think if you know Sarah and you know her personality, she's she's always kind of watching and learning and paying attention. She's not really gregarious. She doesn't go out of her way to put the spotlight on herself, but she's always learning. And, you know, we've spent a lot of time this year with her and the other middle blockers just looking at this is what the offense does this is what the hitters try to do and let's see if we can take that away from them and so she's worked really hard both physically but also mentally in just being disciplined and being in the right spot and and it's really paid off for us and for her when she's been healthy 
Uh, any other questions, Kayla or Eddie? Ava, thank you very much. And uh, we'll talk to you again tomorrow. Good luck. My pleasure. Thank you very much.